Okay, hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 uh, Radicals and Absolute Values Review. This is question 43D. Um, well, the first thing I want to do is figure out where these absolute values are going to make changes and where they weren't, where they won't here. So first of all, I'm going to test and see where 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And that occurs where 3x is greater than or equal to 2, or x is greater than or equal to 2 thirds. And then the next one here is 2x plus 5. I'm going to check and see where that's greater than 0. So 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5. x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. Okay, so this gives me a sense of when along the number line there's going to be a significant change in the value of the function, oops, 2 thirds, uh, due to the absolute value. Now, if we are to the left of negative 5 halves, both of these functions are going to change signs here. So it'll be negative of 3x minus 2 equals the negative of 2x plus 5 plus 1. Let's solve that. So negative 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 2x minus 5 plus 1. I bring the 3x over and it becomes x over here. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Uh, add the 4 so it becomes 6. x equals 6. Now, is 6 in the interval less than negative 5 halves? No. So no solution. Okay. Now I move on and I'm going to work in between negative 5 halves and 2 thirds. Now, the, the 3x minus 2 term, because we're still to the left of 2 thirds, that one's going to change, but the 2x plus 5 one won't. So then the equation is going to become negative 3x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 5, that one won't change, plus 1. So negative 3x plus 2 is going to equal uh, 2x plus 6. I'll bring the 3x over so it becomes 5x. Bring the 6 over, we'll get negative 4. So negative 4 fifths, whoops, can't see that, is equal to x. Is negative 4 fifths in the interval between negative 5 halves and 2 thirds? Yes. So that is an acceptable solution. Now we move to the interval greater than 2 thirds. Now in this case, our x values are such that um, everything here will be positive. There will be no need to change the values here. So this will be 3x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 5 plus 1. I'll bring the 2x over becomes x. This is 6 plus 2 is 8. Is 8 greater than 2 thirds? Yes. So my two solutions here will be negative 4 fifths and 8.